Hey guys, it's KJ48 and welcome to my 7 Days to Die Alpha 8.2 update video. Um, yeah, 8.2 is dropped and uh, in a lot of ways this has been a big one. Now there's not too many uh, new options on the uh, game start menu, but there's one that's pretty interesting here called Enemy Aggression. Um, they've added new Enemy Aggression game options with Normal and Feral. Feral means zombies sense you from over 100 meters at night uh, simulating our old horde mode. They also come every night. Continue with this with short 24-hour cycles and airdrops for the classic horde mode, ex horde mode experience. So basically, um, enemy aggression in you know a much shorter way of saying it is at night the zombies will know where you are and will try to break into your house relentlessly. Okay, we're here in Dyersville and this is where we're going to be uh, showing you the rest of the updates for this uh, 8.2 alpha update. And one thing they did they did was add lens flares to the sun and new sun textures. So you can see the sun right there. And, you know, it looks pretty cool. Uh, if you kind of looking at it past something, you can see the way the sun kind of slowly disappears behind things. Um, looks really neat. They've also added a moon shadow and increased moonlight. Um, I'll have to wait until nighttime to show you that. Okay, and here you go. Here's a picture of the new moon. Um, yeah, looks pretty cool. I think it looks better than the sun, actually. I like it. It looks nice. Another new thing they added was pine and maple tree farming. Um, yeah, basically, whenever you chop down a tree, you have a chance to get these maple seeds. Now, you don't get maple seeds for every tree you chop down. I had to chop down three trees to get these maple seeds. And they can be planted on dirt or forest ground, and they don't need water to grow. So, boom, you just plant it. Now... This is by no means uh, going to give you more trees than you already have. Uh, so theoretically, there's still a finite amount of trees on the map because you won't, you won't get a sap, uh, you won't get a, a seed every time. So you know, but still, it gives you um, a way to replant your trees in your area, and uh, it's definitely a welcome change. Another thing they did was they redid the way crafting works. I mean, this is a big change right here. First of all, they've grouped everything, like you can see right here in the crafting. Uh, menu um, ammo weapons beverages building all kinds of stuff not only that but you have three stages of crafting now you basically have the green stage of crafting which means you've already crafted an item and you can craft it just by clicking on the green name you have white which is basically means you have the items in your inventory to craft the item but you still have to build the item like right here I can't craft the door you actually have to put the scrap iron in there like that and now the scrap metal door becomes, or the scrap metal secure door becomes green. Let me do that one more time. Just to show you, oh, it stays up there. There we go, that's what I was trying to do. All right, let's see, uh, we got a gun safe here. All right, so gun safe is all iron ingots. So I don't know why it's disappearing, it shouldn't be. It should stay up there as I place these, but that's okay. It doesn't really matter that much. And we can make ourselves a gun safe. I'm just kind of curious. On these gun safes if you put them down do they have guns in them they do not that used to be a bug but anyway uh yeah so and the third part of crafting is if the item is gray now if the item is gray it's basically an item you can make but you don't have the items in your inventory so yeah they show you the uh how to make everything in the game now no more guessing and no more going to the wiki one of the new items that they added to the game was rebar ramp recipe. So let's see if we can find that somewhat easily in this. This looks a little confusing, but let's see if we can find it. So uh, ramp, rebar ramp recipe should be in building. And we're going to look for rebar ramp. I don't see it. There it is. Rebar ramp frame. And that's what we need for it. So let's go ahead and build it. See, now this one is staying up like that. So I think they're supposed to stay up there. And if they don't, it's kind of bugged. But anyway, there's the rebar ramp recipe, and uh, that is basically going to be... I think those are supposed to be like the roof of your house. All right, we're going to go ahead and upgrade that, because you can now upgrade these as well. So right there is the second stage. Third stage, you can see it's supposed to be like the roof of a building. And there's the last stage, and that one takes, that one takes uh, metal to do. Um, one other thing about the rebar is rebar has been changed as well. Uh, let's put down some rebar here. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and upgrade this rebar. Uh, you can see on my hotbar, look right here. These are the two items. You now need forged iron instead of scrap iron to upgrade rebar. And you're going to need two forged iron, uh, which equals 24 forge weight. 
um, instead of scrap iron, which was two, which uh, was uh, 16 forge weight. So let's check this out. We have 246. Uh, we have 246 cobblestone. So there we go. That's just a cobblestone. That took more cobblestone, and that's going to take our metal. And that went from 60 to 58. So you need two forged iron now to uh, upgrade the last stage of cobblestone, where before it was uh, scrap iron. Now, if my math is correct, um, two forged iron is 24. 24 and 24 is 48. Um, it takes 24 per block to upgrade. So um, if my math is right, I think it's 48 uh, forge weight for one piece of iron. Uh, so that basically means that one, one piece of iron, one iron ingot, is only enough to upgrade two of these blocks. Now, if you're trying to make a wall around your base with these, you're going to need a hell of a lot of iron. They have also added rotten flesh, femur, and hide to zombie dog loot, which is pretty nice. Okay, they've added a new metal door called hard secure metal door. Now, <clears throat> I'm not sure if this is the same as the other metal door, but um, it definitely looks a lot different. So I'm going to go ahead and make it for you. Um, actually, it is different because it's upgradable. So go ahead and put this down. Okay, that's what it looks like when you first put it down. Then when you upgrade it, and I'm assuming it takes forged iron to upgrade, let's see. Yep, forged iron, and that's its second stage. And then more forged iron, and that's in its third stage. There you go. Now, it looks a little, I don't know, weird, but it makes sense. Because if you look at the forged iron right here, these are like little strips. And if you look at these strips right here, it looks exactly like what's in my inventory. So even though the door looks a little weird, um, it makes sense from what I'm building it with. And I kind of like it. It looks pretty intimidating. They've also added furniture material uh, that has no stability. Uh, basically what that means is couches and chairs can no longer be stuck to walls. I don't know. I never did that, so I don't know what that is for. Um, they added weight to small rocks so they can be smelted into cement. And that is really nice. So basically these small rocks you pick up, you can use these to uh, smelt into cement. Really, really welcome change there. That's a big deal. They've also added new icons for a lot of, the, a lot of things in games like uh, in the game, like glass panes, cement mold, forged iron, goldenrod flower, goldenrod tea, dirt, sand, and clay. And they actually look really cool. I'll just show you one really quick right here. That's what dirt looks like now. Pretty sweet, right? It looks a lot more like what you think dirt would look like in your inventory. Also, look right here. The coffee has the little coffee beans on the bottom right-hand side. That's pretty cool. They've also done a lot of tweaks to help the memory leaks that have been going on. Um, this game's been known for really, really bad memory leaks, and they've done a lot of things to help that out. So your game should run smoother now. So we'll see how that goes. They've also changed biome resources underground to have no gravel and more small deposits of ore for better mining. So basically, there's supposed to be more uh, ore underground, but like no gravel or maybe very little gravel. I'm not really sure. Uh, it said remove gravel, but I don't know where else you're supposed to get gravel. So they have also changed improved suitcase loot uh improved the suitcase loot which okay um they've also increased drop scale of metal fragments lumps of coal and small rocks now basically what that means is these rocks on the surface let me find one yeah these rocks on the surface are supposed to drop more materials and um i've been i've been mining quite a bit of them and they do seem to drop a little bit more but not a ton um i've gotten anywhere between 10 and 14 iron fragments from them so uh you know it's not like a ridiculous amount they've also changed the stack limit of a lot of things including potassium nitrate this stuff used to stack in 50s now it stacks in 250 which is a much more welcome change they've also changed the hunting knife and the bone shiv to uh do more damage which is definitely a welcome change maybe they'll uh they'll be more useful as melee weapons going forward They've changed the cobblestone recipe. Uh, it now yields two cobblestones instead of one. Um, they've changed. A, they've in, increased the stack limit on coal and potassium nitrate to 250, which I just talked about. And they changed MP5s and rocket launchers and sniper rifles. They're now only found in military munitions crates. So that's going to give you a much bigger reason to go to the uh, uh, to the military compounds scattered around the map, which I don't know where a lot of them are, but I'm going to have to go there now because I really like the sniper rifle. Okay, so that's all for the changes. That's it for this update. Um, pretty big update. I kind of like it. Um, I'm really excited to work with this uh, with this cobblestone walls and stuff. Um, I'm not really happy about the fact that the, you need more iron to upgrade them, but uh, you know, I'm still looking forward to building with them in my next uh, my next let's play. 
So I'm going to go, and I will see you guys in my next Let's Play video. Until then, take it easy.